Okay, hello. So today I want to try to teach you something about complex fractions. And complex fractions simply are um, a fraction being divided by another fraction. Okay, so you know that in order to divide a fraction, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So you multiply by the reciprocal, and there you have it. Then you multiply straight across. Okay, and that'll give you AD over BC. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Um, but we want to get into something a little more difficult. Uh, for some example, let's say you had 1 over a plus 1 minus 1 all over 1 a minus 1 plus 1. You see, now to do something like that, it could take some time, but we could easily solve it. Uh, just finding the LCD. So you know that the LCD is going to be this. And that's the LCD. You see it has this here and this here. You can think of this as 1 over 1. So now to do this, you just multiply this to this and this to this. Okay? So when you do that, these two cancel out. Even we leaving you with just a minus 1. On the first one, these are cancelled out. You could think of that as being cancelled over. Then when you multiply this to this one, you get the same thing. And don't forget to bring over that minus sign. So a plus one, a minus one. Okay? So you did that to the first one. And now you want to do this to the bottom one too. Multiply this to this fraction and that to the other fraction. So when you multiply this to this fraction, you know that the a minus 1 will cancel out. Even when you with just a plus 1, don't forget to bring over that plus sign. And then you get the same thing, a plus 1, a minus 1. Okay? So that's, your fr that's what you're going to get. So that's step 1, S1. This is S2. Now we're going for step three. Okay, so when you simplify this, here you use the Fourier method. Um, so you're going to get a minus one minus, and you use the Fourier method, you get this times this, that's a squared, the first outer, that's minus a inner plus a, and last minus one. Then you do the same thing for the bottom, the FOIA method. So this is your denominator, this part here. You go bring over the same thing. Don't forget about your sign. You get a square, outer, inner, last. Okay, now you're going for step four. When you uh, simplify that even further, you can tell that these are cancel out. Right? They're cancel out. But before you go even further, just make sure that you keep your parentheses in place. So you don't get any confusion later on down the line. So they're cancel out. And now you got a minus one minus a square plus one. Because when you distribute the negative you get that. Then over here, these are cancel out. So you get a plus 1 plus a square minus 1. Okay, now looks like this could be a final step here. You got, you, you could remove this parenthesis here because it wouldn't make a difference now. Because we're all just adding or subtracting through. So you could tell that these are cancel out, even you would just a square. And these are cancel out. 
leaving you with just a and another square. Okay, so that's the same thing if you factor the a out as that over that. Then when you uh, cancel like terms, you get this as a final answer. Okay, and that's the answer. So that was everything coming from this example here. Hope that makes sense. If you got any questions, feel free to let me know about it. Try to get in contact with you soon. Thank you, and have a nice day. Goodbye.